What's up guys? Coming at you from my quarantine to yours. Being that we're all, you know, mostly stuck at home, now that there's a quarantine throughout most of the country, a lot of people are binging Netflix shows like Tiger King, which by the way, I started to rewatch it. They have snuck a lot of things in there that are just gems for people who are rewatching the series. Like at the beginning, the big fat dude that was on the jet ski at the end, he starts out by saying that big cat people are no good and that they're, they're like the biggest backstabbers. And I mean, if you've watched the series, which, come on, everyone's seen it. You know what happens to that guy. He rolls on everybody. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. But that's not what we're discussing today. Today, we're discussing Ozark. Ozark, I just, I just finished Ozark Season 3, and it's that series continually amazes me it is the new breaking bad which is exactly what it seems like it wanted to be it's breaking bad but with heroin and uh money embezzlement and so at the end of season two like the birds just got in a casino you know because they they figured it would be a great way to launder money the thing that was truly interesting to me about season three is it became a power dynamic between all of these alpha women and there's these just strong female character types you've got uh wendy bird you've got uh Ro what's her name rose that's a titanic chick is that her name ruth ruth it's ruth she didn't i don't know why i thought it was rose uh yeah the trailer park queen super nasty can be but actually you find out she's got a big heart she's truly got a big heart it's it's all an act she just doesn't want to let anyone in it's her defense mechanism which i find really fascinating i really enjoy that character then you've got the lawyer lady who's like you know murdering everyone and she wants control which she wants everything to run smoothly it's towards the end of the series of the season that she wants control by the way gonna be some spoilers in this so if you haven't seen it you should probably watch i don't know why you would click on a recap something and be like what there's spoilers in this listen man <laughs> what do you want from me i'm gonna be talking about what i just saw it doesn't make any goddamn sense all right so yeah you got the lawyer lady uh, what's her name Haley. so i'm terrible with names you know who i'm talking about she murders everybody. You got the Snell chick. I don't know why I remember her name. Probably because she's crazy creepy. And Wyatt. Wyatt. What are you doing? You're boning her? Come on. You're boning the grandma? The, the murdering grandma? What's... Dude. Is there really no other options on that island? Like, none? I mean, I know it's not an island, but you get what I'm saying. Like, that lake community, that's, there's no... There's no girls your own age? You know? Maybe... Maybe someone in their 40s, you know, 30s. I don't know, man. Do you really got to go for the 70-year-old chick? Like, I don't know. How, maybe she, she's not 70, but she was, like, hitting her prime in the 70s. They already established that. She's old. Like, what are you doing, Wyatt? Then you've got the FBI chick, you know, and she's, like, going head-to-head -head with, like, the lawyer lady and uh, Wendy Bird, and they're, like, button heads. There's all these super powerful women that are just going head to head throughout the whole season, which is phenomenal. They introduced a new character, which I really enjoyed. It was uh, Wendy's brother, and uh, turns out, you, I mean, I don't know why it didn't occur to me when they introduced him, because his introduction was crazy, but he's not well in the head. He's a little mentally unbalanced, so he comes on the scene. And he seems like a perfectly nice, fun-loving, jovial dude. And he befriends the son, Jonah. And they become best of pals. And then he has a thing for Ruth. He's like, man, I want to get some of this trailer park blondie. And so he wears her down. Like, she... <laughs> I feel like I've dated a chick exactly like her. Like, she didn't want to let him know that 
she likes him and she's like giving him the snub nose the whole time like he brings her a burrito and she has to crap on the burrito like she doesn't physically do it but you know she's like I like french toast sticks and he's like and she's like yeah like F you for bringing me a burrito but I'm gonna take it so he brings her french toast sticks later like it's a it's a beautiful romance like she's she's testing him with you know giving him the jabs and seeing how he reacts a lot of women like to do that I don't know why I was testing but whatever they start to have a love entanglement and then when they go to have sex his tiny person doesn't work and it's because of his medication but uh ruth doesn't take it like that like she's very upset like he's like no you're beautiful and she's like am i what's going on down there like what's happening because it doesn't look like it doesn't look like i'm beautiful i don't know what i don't know what you're doing doesn't like this if this was working for you that would be working for me like like basically what she says to him you know actually she's probably a little harsher than what i said like he decides he wants to go down to bone town with her so he dumps all his medication and he's like listen i'm gonna you know this is what i need to do because i want to make her happy you know so apparently langmore is uh love of his life completely understandable i don't know what it is about her but i'm drawn to her too dude like uh love me some crazy i don't know what it is man something about a crazy chick you know at any rate so here's the thing wendy tries to warn ruth that uh he's dangerous he is uh he's bipolar and when he's off his meds he's crazy the thing about it there's a moment in the series when he's acting crazy but he seems like the sanest person like he's like you guys are killing people and working for you know a cartel what is wrong with you you're all liars and he's doing it like seeming crazy somehow in in the spectrum of people that are like like the bird family they're like this guy's crazy but really he's the sanest person in the room he's like you guys what are you doing like what are you doing you're just you're murdering people stop it it's phenomenal so he just gets crazier and crazier and he becomes a danger because he goes and he tells the lawyer lady's daughter that the lawyer lady is you know a criminal and murders people for the cartel and that just means he's got to die like that's what's gonna happen he's he's got to be in a box so because <laughs> she doesn't want to ruin her you know life outside of this like she's trying to keep that separate murder people monday through friday and then on the weekends she's got her kids i get it you know struggles real apparently with people in the cartel so the lawyer chick is out to get him and wendy is like i gotta hide my brother i don't want my brother getting murdered so she starts driving him across the straight or uh, she starts driving him across the state into other states across the country she drives him across the country. I don't know what's happening with my brain right now, but that aside. So she starts driving him across the country and he proves to her that he is continually going to be a danger. Like he calls up Helen. That's her name. Helen, the lawyer lady. Her name's Helen. Calls up Helen to be like, hey, Helen, um, I'm so sorry, you know, that I said the things to your daughter about you being a murderer and all. And Helen's like, yeah yeah i don't care i'm gonna murder you and he's like i'm sorry and then wendy's like give me the phone what's wrong with you and he's like uh i'm messed up in the head here and then like she thinks she has him under control and then he tells the cops you know what's going or he tells someone that that alerts the cops and then later he like is secretly buying a burner phone so he can like you know contact ruth uh, and she's like, all right, he's got to die. So she puts a hit out on her own brother and murks him in the middle of nowhere because it's what's best for the whole family. It's crazy. They get another casino. That was a whole other thing. They're going head to head. That was another strong, powerful lady. That was, that was when I started to notice that it was 
this season was really featuring on strong women is when Wendy was going back and forth with the other casino lady that didn't want to sell. And it was like she was definitely pulling the strings behind the scenes for the guy the whole time. That was amazing. Like, <sighs> but I mean, the ending with the cartel guy shooting the chick in the head, it's like, all right, things are going to get nuts. Things are definitely going to get nuts. So, clearly, we're in for it for season four. I'm excited to see what happens. Listen, man, I don't know what's next for my channel, but, you know, if you like the video, if you like me, if you have no idea who I am, my name's Adam, I'm a comedian. There's no comedy clubs open right now, so I'm, I'm still making videos. I put out a video about making bread. Now I put out a video about Ozark. Whatever. It's the way, it's the way I roll, all right? You get bread recipes... Ozark, Tiger King. Listen, I got a lot of stuff going on in my life. You get to see all of it. That's what it's about. Click that like button, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll catch you next video. Love it. Ooh.